Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Lighting Tech Tips. Today we're actually looking at slideshows. Uh, a customer came up to me and they asked, um, hey, you do video editing, can you teach me how to make some slideshows uh, for work? And I was like, sure. Uh, and so uh, the video editing software I use is Vegas, um, which is originally Sony Vegas, but now it's Magic Vegas. Uh, and the other big one everyone uses is Premiere Pro. And so both of those cost money. Um, these days it's a monthly subscription fee. So didn't think it would be worth it for a one-off project that uh, this person does once a year. So I started looking at uh, free alternatives for video editing software, found a few of them. Um, the one I would recommend is called uh, Shot uh, Cut. Shortcut. Uh, it's pretty good, pretty simple. And uh, I was finishing up writing the script for that and I'm like, hmm, let me compare this against those uh, specialized slideshow programs. And then I was like, actually, you just might want to use the one which is built in into your computer. So if you're using Windows 10, Microsoft Photos is already installed on your computer. If it's not, make sure um, you go to the Microsoft Store and you find this thing called Microsoft Photos. Very easy, you download it and it is amazing. Let me open it up here. And uh, actually, when you open it up, you'll see all your pictures, which um, Windows has already found, populated uh, in this collection section over here. You'll see it sorted by date. Um, but what I actually prefer to do is go to the folder section and go that way. And specifically, uh, what you can do is you can add a folder um, that, you, that you want for the photos. So if you've already collected it or someone's given you a USB with all the photos, you can go to add a folder and you simply add that folder into here. It'll pop up something like this. And here you go, you've got all the photos you want. Now the next step here to make the slideshow is to actually go into this video editor. Uh, so we go to new uh, and super simple. We can actually just hit automatic video. If we do that, we give it a title. This title is actually gonna be in the video. So you can see uh, I'm selling a bunch of board games here. For those who don't know, I also sell board games at my uh, web store. Uh, so we've got um, board games for sale. It's going to be the title in my video. And boom. You can see we've got the title. Nice, fancy. And I don't know if, if what, what more do you want from a slideshow. It does something really amazing. Uh, if you don't like the music that they've picked uh, or some of the transitions that are coming out, you can just simply hit remix it for me. And based on some of the sample songs they have, you see the last video is the last video is 56 seconds and this is 121. And this one the title came up straight away as opposed to a couple of slides in. Um, but yeah, I, I just find this really, really amazing. Like if that's all you need, you're good to go. Um, but if you want to actually tailor a little bit, you can continue to edit the video. So let's say we edit the video, we want to change the order. Maybe I want Santorini to be the first game that shows up in the slideshow, easy peasy. And maybe I want it to show for more than 3.43 seconds as it's defaulted there. Um, you can just double click on the timestamp there and you can change it, right? Easy peasy. Um, there's other effects you can do like uh, change um, the transition effects or the 3D effects and add some you know, leaves popping down. Um, and so if we play that a little bit, you can see um, so yeah, it's, re it's really done an amazing job. Maybe I want to add a text here. We can say, um, my favorite, right? Done. We can choose where it goes in the middle, big one like that, or just on the bottom there. And, uh, when we want to export the video. We simply hit finish video at the top. Oh, we can also change the music if we wanted to. These are the default songs in there. Uh, or we can add our own uh, custom video. So we can add our own music files over here. Um, so let's say it is uh, the end of 2021. You can get like, you know, a remix of 2021 songs and add it in there or something like that. So we'll do that. We'll finish video. And it asks you how the quality of the video you want. So the lower the quality, the smaller the file size, which is good. Um, but if you want to, you know, max quality, 1080p there. Uh, more options doesn't really give you too many options. Uh, always tick this if you've got the option. And you hit export. And um, you decide where you want to save the file. So we'll export there. We'll take a couple of seconds. And then we'll open 
um, the folder right now that we have. So you can see this is the folder with all the pictures I had and that's the file being saved. Um, whoops, going back to photos. Um, once exporting is successful, it'll actually pop up in its built-in player. Um, but what I'll do is I'll show you that it actually works. <laughs> That's, I, this is so good, right? And so I'll close this player here and then I'll show you that it's done completed. It's, hence you can see the thumbnail. And if I bring it up here, it also works. So uh, that's how you want to make a slideshow if you've got Windows 10. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.